Hello. In this example I'm going to be um, looking at the use of the lookup function. Let me explain how that would work if uh, you and I were the software in this case. Um, we've got a situation here in this example where we have candidates who are going to be taking an exam um, with a, um, three different awarding bodies, City and Guilds, OCR and ECDL. They need to know where to go, uh, which exam room to go to to take those exams. Uh, if I was doing this manually, I would look at uh, the first example here. So City and Guilds, uh, on the uh, second worksheet, if I was to look at the room location for all people taking the City and Guilds exam, they would need to go to room B421. So I could do that manually by entering B421. Then I've got to obviously um, go down and do that and then I've got, then got to repeat that for ECDL and OCR with B426 and B428 room locations respectively. If however I'm using the lookup function in a formula that's going to do it for me um, automatically and a lot more quickly. So the first thing I need to do is to select cell D4 in this example um, being as it's the first cell in the exam room column and then go to the um, insert function button on the formula bar, click that, uh, look for and select look up, it happens to be at the top of my most recently used ones um, and so I can then OK that with look up selected, it then gives me uh, a select arguments display of two options, uh, it's the second of the two options I need to go for, look up value comma array, click OK and that then gives me the function arguments dialog box. How I use this is I use the first shrink block and that then allows me to come in and click on the cell C4 which is the one that holds um, in this example City and Guilds as the um, qualification. Go back and click on the str uh, shrink block which expands the function arguments dialog box out again to allow me then this time to click on the array shrink block and then selecting sheet 2 and then highlighting and selecting the range of cells A2 to B4 I can then go back into my function arguments dialog box and already you can see how it's starting to work it's already been told that cell C4 is where the value in this case the uh, uh, exam or awarding body is going to be found and then it's also found the various details in worksheet 2 that tell it which room um, those candidates have got to go to. So click OK and that then has filled that in. Now before we replicate that formula down into the other cells of that exam room column we have to make sure that the formula continues to look just at this range of cells here. In order to do that in the formula, in the formula bar you need to click in between A and 2 of the cell reference A2 and then using the function keys at the top of your keyboard press key F4 um, that then gives the two dollar signs that go in either side of the letter A of cell A2 cell reference click in the second cell reference between the B and the 4 again press key F4 and having done that that then makes it what is called an absolute reference click the enter tick on your formula bar and that's now modified the formula to allow you now to come in and replicate that formula down to the other cells within um, this example of the exam room column. Hope you found that useful.